This video is brought to you by RZ Mask.
Real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is RZ Mask. I'm sure everybody's tired of hearing about masks in public places, but nothing has changed inside the shop. Fine dust is still one of the biggest safety concerns inside the shop. So one of the best ways to protect yourself is to wear a mask. All RZ masks provide up to 99.9% .9 filtration from airborne particulates down to 0.1 micron. And the main reason why I like using RZ masks is the comfort. It's actually comfortable to wear, which means you'll actually wear it more often than not. And I actually took my RZ mask with me when I was traveling in Europe and I had the valves closed with the valve cap and it was so much more comfortable than wearing these N95 masks. Now, if you wore these N95 masks, your goggles are gonna get fogged up and you probably can't see anything, so chances are you're gonna take it off and when you're working, something's gonna get in your eye and now you can't see anything forever. But these RZ masks have great breathability and it doesn't restrict your airflow, so it doesn't fog up your glasses and you could wear it for a long time without feeling any kind of discomfort. So if you're interested in owning a mask that's really comfortable as well as doesn't fog up your glasses as well as filters up to 99.9% .9 of the particulates, check out RZ Mask. And if you're interested in saving money, use the coupon code WOVYRZ20 at checkout to get a discount. I'll have the link and the coupon code down in the description below. Thank you RZ Mask for sponsoring this video.
So I'm still working on the bike, uh, but I went into this thing thinking, oh, it should be easy. Everything should be clear cut. But after talking to a few people about it, it's really not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So uh, I made some mistakes as well. David made this for me. Uh, it's supposed to go on like this. So I cut it and I realized this is the wrong side. So I had to flip it. And pretty much this is the only way it's fitting. So that's that.
tested positive for COVID five days ago, and I've been stuck in this room in Paris for the past five days. Nice shower. Got the food ready. And he's already doing dishes. Life is good, baby! Okay, so this entire bike project has been pretty frustrating up until this point, but I want to share with you the most frustrating part of this build, which was the finishing. My first choice was to finish it with my favorite go-to finish, which is Total Boat Halcyon Satin with Rockler's HVLP Spray Gun System. It doesn't yellow the wood as much as oil finishes and dries super quick since it's water-based, and you don't even have to sand between coats. However, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but the black epoxy started melting and started staining the wood kind of black or darkish. And this has never happened to me before and Total Boat has never even heard of this happening before either. And my only guess is the black powder dye that I used, which I happen to have it laying around in the shop and I don't know where I got it from. It's been in the shop for years. So I had to sand everything down again and since I was so over this project at this point, I just tried my luck with spray can lacquer. And initially I thought I was golden. I had about five different coats on and everything looked really great. But the next day I realized there's white marks all over the bike as if someone made sweet love to it. And I had no idea what that was so I decided to sand everything down and as soon as I finished sanding everything down, Nick from Keys 
Woodworks told me that it's called blushing and it happens and you could just get a spray can called blushing retarder and you just spray it on and it just disappears. Pretty much I sanded the whole bike down for no reason. Or so I thought. So I sprayed the lacquer on for the second time and wished for the best. And the next day I got blushing just as much as the first time. So I tried the blushing retarder spray can and it actually worked really great. It took less than 10 minutes for me to get rid of all the blushing marks. It looked like it was really good so I let it cure overnight and came back the next day. Now when I actually came back the next day, it got even worse! The blushing had actually spread and it got into more surfaces and at that point I just said screw this, I'm just gonna do wipe on and wipe off oldies oil. So I sanded everything back down to bare wood and wiped on oldies oil. And I was hoping to avoid using this finish because I'm not too sure how protective it would be against the outside elements as well as the sun and to be honest I don't think it's gonna last long. But the good thing is it's satin, it's really easy to wipe on and wipe off so if the finish fades off I could just wipe it on in less than an hour and I should be good to go. So without further ado, here's a fixie made out of recycled skateboards. Now, to be honest, I had my doubts about the strength of this bike, but this bike is solid. It just feels like you're riding a regular bike. There are no bends or flexes on the bike, and it seems to ride smooth like any other bike. And if you're wondering, yes, it's a heavy bike, but I would rather it be heavy and solid rather than light and nimble. Especially since this is a fixed gear bike. It takes a lot of stress. Now, I am extremely happy with the way it came out, but there were so many different mistakes along the way. So let's go over some of these mistakes and maybe you and I could both learn from these mistakes and make improvements in the future. The pockets for the bolts should have been deeper since you could clearly see the bolts and some of them I even sanded down the bolts themselves. I also carved too deep in certain places and now you can see the seat post and the empty void that I tried to fill up with sawdust. I also made a mistake and carved here for some reason and the seat post was rotating freely so I drilled a hole and added this brass dowel to keep it in place. And since I was so over this project at this point, I didn't even sand the inside of the back of the frame so you could clearly see the blushing marks left over. But overall, this is the first bike I ever made in my entire life and I'm very happy with how it came out. Now, special thanks to RZ Mask for sponsoring this video. If you want a quality mask that filters up to 99.9% .9 of the particulates as well as doesn't fog up your goggles and it's just super comfortable to wear while you're working so you'll actually wear it more often than not, check out RZ Mask. And if you use the coupon code WOBRZ20 at checkout, you'll get a huge discount. So make sure to use the coupon code and I'll have the link as well as the coupon code down in the description below. Thanks RZ Mask. And special shout out to Totobo. This entire project relies heavily on epoxy and its lamination. The epoxy fills up the gaps between the skateboards and gives me a strong, stable lamination that I could trust to resaw on the bandsaw without warping and wanting to go back to its original curve. I also used it to laminate the frame together which made this bike super solid and I have no worries of it breaking apart. Totoboat has all types of different products for different applications so if you want to save some money, check out the coupon code down in the description below. Thanks Totoboat. 
And that's it for this video. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram so you know what I'm working on at the moment. And if you want to see my Paris COVID stories, make sure to check out my highlights on my bio. And if you want to support this channel, make sure to check out my Patreon page. You can get first dibs on my product releases as well as some tiers get scraps from my projects as well. So if you're interested, check out the link down in the description below. And if you watched it up to this far and haven't subscribed yet, what the f dude? Well, do it now. And while you're at it, turn on that notification bell, like this video, and comment down below what you think about this bike. Thanks again, and until next time. Woo!